You know what I think? Best relationships always start from good friendship. What are you doing? Um... Are we in a relationship or something? Well, if we're not in one, I think we're on the right track, at least. I don't know why you'd think that. I saw the signs. Really? Like what? You know, you were always texting me and calling me even when you were with other girls and I felt something from you. I can't keep telling you over and over. If I don't want to be with you, then I, I do not want to date you. What now? But I thought you were... You have these wild little romantic movies going on in your head. You build up all these expectations that are unrealistic and... and well, I'd rather be a dreamer than an ass like you. Excuse me? Maybe I do all these things and maybe I do overthink every little thing that happens to me and yeah, maybe I love my drama too, but that's because I'm passionate and I care. You think you're the big man because you keep your cool at all times? Or is it because you think all women are expendable? You're just making sure that you don't get hurt. But at the same time, you will never fall in love this way. Face it, Alex. You're alone. Oh my God, how many times do I have to tell you? What I want is, I want the same as what I've got, but I want them in sunglasses. Thank you. Hi, are you Karen? Hi, um, yeah, are you Alicia? Alicia. Okay, yeah. Let me just... Don't worry about it. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to see me. Honestly, I really appreciate it. No problem. So it's only the internet, but we do pay and... <laughs> You don't seem that fancy, so... Wait, are you hiring me? Well, it's only a freelance thing, so I'm not hiring you per se, but you seem kind of sweet. All I want is to write something that you'll be, like, super excited to publish. So, is there anything you want me to write about specifically, or...? You could have a threesome with some people that you meet on Tinder, or do a whole bunch of coke and then just write about it. Um, okay. Read the threesome. That's something like, I find that I have enough trouble placing my attention on one person's body, which is something I definitely write about. Um, in terms of the cocaine, I've never really done it before. Even better. Well, the reason I've never really done it before is because I've got really weird nasal passages. <laughs> okay, it, uh, it's <laughs> just an idea. <laughs> you know what? This is your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And this is where the magic happens. You get it, right? Yeah, of course I get it. Um, so what you're saying is the magic happens outside your comfort zone. Yeah. OK. Uh, oh. Here you go, love. He'll be down in a sec. Craig's my little brother. And although I love him to death, he doesn't always make good choices. So, what are you saying? You don't like me dating him? I'm not saying that. I'm sure you're a great girl. I'm just saying... He tends to go for girls like you. Guys like me. Let me rephrase that. Yeah, please do. Craig likes girls who... I mean, Craig's interested in girls who are... Girls like me who are... interested in him. Oh, OK, so you're saying he likes girls who also like him? Right. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Right, so Craig will sleep with a girl on the first date and automatically assume she's the one. OK, so you're saying he gets pretty serious pretty fast? Yeah. And it never works out. And girls like me usually sleep with blokes on the first date because that's what girls like me do. Craig likes girls who are dangerous. 
unattainable, non-committal. That's what he's attracted to sexually. He doesn't have a long-term type. He just has girls who are, well, your type. Oh, I should have known. What was I thinking? Look, I see what you're saying. I just need to break it off with him. The sooner the better. I'm sure he'll understand. You are unbelievable. Craig warned me you're a nosy little freak. Look, me and Craig have been on two really cool dates, and not that it's any of your business, but we haven't even slept together yet. Look, I like Craig and he likes me. And if anybody's moving too fast, love, it's you. <laughs>